There it is, 30K. Finally hit 30K. All right, guys, let's talk about owning the DeLorean for three months. So far, VIN 10769, she's a pretty good sorted car. She was restored at DMC Texas as well as DMC Midwest. And she just had two major problems. Upon arrival, she had the hot start issue which was quickly resolved with a new fuel accumulator. And then there was a coolant leak, which I brought to DMC California to get that issue resolved. And we ended up just um, swapping out the old coolant hoses uh, for new ones. And while they were in there, we swapped out a new radiator and a bunch of like different maintenance stuff like new spark plugs, new spark plug wires, new distributor cap, and um, some other small maintenance things just to bring the car up to date. I've been having a great time driving the car and even though it's not the fastest car, when you get it up to the speed, like on the freeway, it actually has some speed to it. It's such a joy to drive especially you know it's very rare to see a delorean on the road so you know you got people honking and so many people smile at the car um, my pet peeve is the power steering and the braking so for power steering there's none <laughs> so it's uh it's particularly difficult to maneuver the car um, when you're in a parking lot, especially when you're like trying to pull out, when you're trying to do parallel parking, three point turns are difficult. If like I'm trying to do a U-turn and you know, the turning radius, not, not the, the biggest, just trying to do that three point turn real quick, kind of difficult when you don't have power steering and you just have to like, you know, force the steering wheel to turn but a couple of weeks ago i was considering getting power steering with the the dmc brand power steering but i decided not to one for the price because it's about i think it's like 1200 or 1500 or something and then another a thousand to install it the other thing is the braking compared to my m3 when you slam on the brakes it stops the DeLorean takes a little bit to stop, so I have to anticipate even earlier to break and try not to, you know, tailgate anyone. So I give that cushion. But I ordered some EBC red stuff brake pads. So hopefully those will improve the braking. Once I get those installed, we'll see if the braking improves. If not, maybe I'll consider upgrading the braking system but we'll see, we'll take one upgrade at a time. One thing I have to note when I first started driving this car, I had a lot of anxiety. The anxiety of the car breaking down. It's a 40 year old car and I'm not sure, you know, the age of everything. I have an idea of like the status of certain components, but the anxiety of will my car break down somewhere far or whatever i've already paid a lot with towing this car uh, twice so that anxiety kind of plagues me with the car being upgraded here and there i am starting to alleviate that anxiety um, because so far the car is running well with all the stuff that has been done to it. But overall, I love driving the car. I can't believe that I actually own one. And there's many nights where I'm just sitting on a chair, staring at the car in the garage. And as much as possible, I try to take her out and drive her around when I have time. If I don't have time, I just, you know, start her up, let her run a bit, uh, rev the engine a bit just to you know, keep her running. And then when I know that I'm not gonna drive her for a while, I'll um, unplug the battery. 
it has been an amazing experience. The DeLorean community is such a great community and it is a great resource for DeLorean owners to help each other and, you know, just share knowledge. And that's why I make these videos because I want to share the knowledge of my experience restoring and preserving the DeLorean. And that's all I, I got to say about the DeLorean so far. Three months, 30K mileage, and the journey is just beginning. Well guys, that's the video. Hopefully you enjoyed learning about Destiny's Progress, VIN 10769, and our journey together. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the future.